uh, you just have to decompose it. So let me show you in the computer actually. That's the solution. So if you know what I'm talking about, you can exit out of this video and you can solve it really quickly. Yo, what's up guys? So this video is just gonna be super quick and easy. So I had this problem in Resolve um, a, about a week ago. And basically my rendered video was like stuttering frames and like there were audio reverbs and this, it was just a mess, right? It was just- Dude, this is crazy. Even this, even right here is like the composition. Dude, this is crazy, crazy. Dude. So yeah, basically there are certain parts where the audio, where the video was just like glitching a little bit. And the problem is that uh, if you rendered a timeline within a timeline, that's where the issue arises. Uh, but you can still do it actually. And I'll show you how right now. Uh, you just have to decompose it. So let me show you in the computer actually. That's the solution. So if you know what I'm talking about, you can exit out of this video and you can solve it really quickly. But uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let's just get on the computer and check it out. So what you do is if you make a new timeline and then you put a pre-existing timeline in and you thought you could like render it out with no issues, um, you're gonna find some issues. Uh, like in Resolve, in Premiere, sorry, it wasn't an issue, so I really couldn't solve it for a while. And then like other people were saying, oh, export it in a different format or change the timeline settings. Uh, and I thought it was the timeline settings for a while actually, because uh, I think my timeline settings is at, uh, yeah, like, 24 frames per second and I might have shot at 23.79 whatever. I don't think it really makes an issue if you do a 23.79 in an actual 24, but I thought that was an issue and I tried to change it, but for some reason in Resolve you can't. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's the studio, is the base version of Resolve, but it's just stupid to me, to be honest. Uh, anyways, the fix is that you have to decompose it, right? So it basically takes the whole timeline and makes it uh, that original timeline. Uh, so right click and decompose in place. So everything's here. So actually, if it's not too long, it won't make an issue because uh, if you see this original one, I actually didn't decompose the first few, right? Uh, yeah, right here. So this is still called React Buzz Cut because that was the name of the original timeline, right? So I didn't, this is just like 10 seconds, so it didn't cause any issues. Uh, but everything else, I uh, had to decompose actually, so. Uh, and also, yeah, because I put the timeline, I had to do a timeline in a timeline because uh, when I cut the video, it just made it easier, right? Uh, yeah, anyway, that's the fix. I'm probably dragging on this video longer than it has to be, but basically just decompose and I'm editing in the latest version of Resolve as of today, which is April 14, 2021. Uh, this is like 14.11, no, 17.11 or something. Uh, and there's this issue. I'm not sure if it's exclusive to Resolve 17, but I'm just gonna put uh, 17 in the title because it might help some of you guys. But yeah, uh, let me know if you guys ran into this issue because I was kind of, it wasn't something I did often, but I have the, um, rendered like timelines within timelines in Premiere before and never ran into this issue. So I thought it would be okay in Resolve, but it wasn't. Uh, but now I figured it out and it isn't a big issue. 